Hi everyone, my name is Amanda Massey and welcome to my YouTube channel, Massey Styles. Today, I wanna highlight some of the top summer trends for women's wear and then tell you about this amazing website I came across to learn about all things organic called Pretty Girl Organics. But as always, as we start off every video, let's talk about my outfit of the day. I am wearing these amazing Marc Jacob iconic platforms. I've worn them in other videos and now you get to see them again because we re-wear our stuff. It is not a one time and done, we recycle our clothes. So I'm re-wearing these amazing Marc Jacob platforms. Like I said, they're absolutely iconic. I'm obsessed with them. And I really love them because it makes this very feminine white A-line dress more edgy. And then I also added this really nice black velvet belt to help break up the dress and also define my waistline. And I really like the contrast of white and black and the color combinations of the two and how this is like an ultra feminine dress and I'm pairing it with a really edgy platform. So I like the juxtaposition there. That's my outfit. Dress, belt, heels, done. Really simple. Okay, so let's get into these summer trends. There are so many out there, it's hard to decide what's real, what isn't, what's gonna work for you. So I hit the database. I went to a fashion search engine called Tag Walk, and Tag Walk essentially scanned 11,000 images from New York Fashion Week, London, Paris, and Milan, and any collections that were labeled minimalism. Minimalism trends were up by 42%, and any collections that were labeled 90s were up by 46%. So that's kind of what we're gonna be talking about today. Minimalism in the 90s. Those are two really big trends and I'm gonna break down a couple more as well. So let's just get started. Now, we traditionally think about formal wear or a black tie occasion with having a really elaborate over the top gown such as this Alexander McQueen sleeveless spiral cocktail dress. It has this spiral, I just said that. It has this massive spiral on the side. It's very fluffy, it's very poofy. You wear this fluffy skirt underneath it. Now, this is timeless. I will never give this away. However, it's not necessarily current. But wait, it will come back in style, but not right now. Instead of fluffy, puffy, poofy, we're gonna go for something that is more sleek and streamlined evening gown. This is a little more Tisha-esque, but we love her. She's been around for a long time. This is designed by D-Square, but you see how simplistic this is? It has this gorgeous long train. It's asymmetrical, but really it's a black dress. But what makes it really different are the different cuts, the long train, so and so. But really, the biggest trend here is we want to tone down the evening gowns or just take the evening gowns out altogether. Now, for formal occasions, you don't only have to wear an evening gown. Part of this summer trend that I'm sharing with you is that for a formal occasion, you can wear a pencil skirt. I'm really loving this graphic print, so it's not just like a basic black pencil skirt. Also, swap out a gown for a really smart pair of trousers. This is a high-waisted trouser by Balmain, and I absolutely love the print because if you don't know the logo of Balmain, then you don't know that this is their logo. If you think it's like a cool print. Um, so you can swap out your evening gown for these individual pieces, and then you can also include a really fabulous coat to elevate a formal occasion and what to wear for that formal occasion. Now, the second summer trend I wanna talk about is florals. Florals for spring, groundbreaking. If you've seen Devil Wears Prada, you understand that quote, and Samantha Priestling is not wrong. Florals are not groundbreaking. So this summer, put your florals to the side and opt for a white dress. 
Another reason why I'm wearing this white dress is to show you what the summer trends look like. So instead of wearing these really cute garden party florals, we're gonna put these girls to the side. They will be back, but we're gonna go for just all white outfits for summer. Notice, and I, I swear to God, I just realized this. I didn't plan this, people. All the black and the white, and now I'm wearing black and white. It just kind of happened that way, but wearing white instead of florals is a big trend this summer, and look at this example. It's great, okay. Now, last but not least are trousers. There's high-waisted, low-waisted, ultra-high-waisted, and we are talking about ultra-high-waisted trousers. So high that they hit underneath your bust and they have a built-in corset. So your pants are coming all the way up here for summer. That's the trend, so just embrace it. Get those crop tops out because that's what you're gonna pair these ultra high-waisted trousers with. Here are some examples. They don't have corsets in them because they're literally like straight off the runway, but these are ultra high trousers, especially the boxers. They're gonna go right at your belly button or a little bit higher than that. But that is what another summer trend is, is ultra high trousers with a corset built into it. So again, there's so many different summer trends out there. I'm gonna be sharing with you more summer trends as the summer months progress, but I wanted to hit these three hot topics, which is going for a more understated look for formal occasions by having a very simplified gown or opting for a pencil skirt, trousers, or a trench coat. You wanna put your florals to the side and bring in your all white dresses. And finally, get those trousers sky high with your high waisted trousers. So that's when to share that little snippet with you. Now let's move on and talk about this great website to learn all things organic, Pretty Girl Organics. Okay, so I broke a nail <laughs> and I was driving to the nail salon and I saw a Tesla SUV that had that logo wrap so that the person would communicate what their business is and the business name is Pretty Girl Organic. And I thought how interesting that a Tesla is advertising an organic website. I mean, I guess it goes together because it's an eco-friendly car and all that stuff. But nevertheless, I thought Pretty Girl Organics on such a masculine army looking car is so interesting. It definitely caught my attention and that's why I have a whole episode about it. So I went online, I looked up Pretty Girl Organic, and I love this website. It is literally a one-stop shop for all things organic when it comes to makeup, dog food, um, skincare, beauty products, fashion, recipes, what else? I mean, anything you can think of and you wanna find out if a product is organic or not, this website has it. My main interests, of course, are makeup and skincare and dog food. I looked over to like the dog food section and I was really interested to see if the dog food that I was buying my little Opal, who sometimes makes appearances on these videos, was truly organic and guess what? It wasn't, it wasn't organic. So I went and I purchased an organic dog food for my little puppy because <laughs> when you love them like family, you feed them like family. <laughs> so back to Pretty Girl Organic. I think if you have any questions and you need to have a quick factual check on whether something is organic or not, I definitely recommend Pretty Girl Organic. I will put the website in the description of this email so that you can easily find it. I am gonna reach out to this website and see if we can do something together because I think my channel and her website have a lot of synergy. So let's fingers crossed on that one. Maybe she'll be a guest, I don't know, but we'll plan it out that way. But I wanted to share this website with you because I am obsessed with it and I love organic and she's all organic. So I hope you find it to be just as helpful as I did. Let me know what you think by commenting below and also share with me what you think about these summer trends that I highlighted. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you next time.